You're in tropical South America. The heat is getting to you, so you decide to go for a swim. You're floating in the water when you feel something touch you as it passes by. Shocked, you look around but see nothing. Then you feel something wrap around your feet. It's a giant anaconda. How do you break free? And could it eat you? This is your body on being swallowed by an anaconda. Within moments, you're in a trap. The anaconda is wrapping itself around you and starting to squeeze. You struggle and it gets a tighter grip. It opens its mouth to a seemingly impossible size. It's going to swallow you. Is that even possible? Can you survive and escape the belly of the beast? Anacondas thrive in the heat and humidity. They're most active at night and often found in tropical rivers and swamps. The green anaconda can grow to nine meters in length and weigh up to 225 kilograms. Their average meal is around 18 kilograms. However, the green anaconda will often eat white-tailed deer, which weigh about 54 kilograms. So does that mean humans are on the menu? Anaconda attacks on humans are rare. However, a snake will strike if provoked. In 1998, two field assistants were tracking an anaconda with a mouth infection. The snake had not eaten in months. It was desperate and predatory. It attacked the assistants, but luckily they managed to escape unscathed. Once the anaconda has you, it will wrap itself around you and squeeze. It will try to crush you with over 62,000 kilopascals of pressure. You may feel your bones start to crack, particularly around your shoulders. You start to feel lightheaded. The constriction is interfering with the flow of blood in your body. You could stop thrashing and play dead, it might let you go then, right? Yeah, no. As it squeezes you, the snake can feel your heart beating through its skin. <laughs> It'll know you're faking. You're having trouble breathing and your lungs are filling up with water. If you don't suffocate, you'll drown. The anaconda will continue to squeeze you until you die. Then it will swallow you whole. In 2014, a conservationist and filmmaker, Paul Rizzoli, donned a special outfit and approached a large anaconda, hoping it would eat him alive. The snake wrapped itself around Rizzoli and squeezed. The anaconda began to crush the filmmaker's arm and put its mouth around his head. Rizzoli panicked and called for his team to pull him out. He's hurt. I'm going. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. If by some miracle you are still alive, you could be looking deep into the bowels of the snake as it prepares to swallow you whole. Anacondas have four separate parts to their jaws so they can open wide enough to take in large prey. It will crawl over you as it slithers over your body. If any part of you is too wide, it will try to break your bones for a better fit. The snake covers you in saliva and produces enough to help you go down easily. If you didn't drown in the water, you probably will now. You are now entirely inside the anaconda. Its body is so flexible that it can change shape to accommodate the size of its meal. Now, if you've survived the constriction and haven't drowned, you'll now have to deal with a complete lack of oxygen. And there's also the acids and enzymes 
eating away at you. Studies show that it takes about three days for a python to digest the soft tissue of an alligator. An anaconda would likely take the same amount of time. Your skin is nowhere near as tough, so you'll probably be nothing but bones in a couple of days. According to the United States Peace Corps, if an anaconda attacks you, the best thing to do is to lay flat and completely still. It will likely start to swallow you at your feet. Let it swallow you up to your knees, then take a knife and gently slide it into the snake's mouth and quickly rip upward to sever its head. Personally, I think your best bet is to stay away from any water that might contain anacondas. Of course, you could always become a deep sea diver. There are no anacondas that deep. We'll find out what that would take on another episode of Your Body On.